I couldn't quite believe it was uh, not a hoax, but uh, when I found out uh, that it wasn't, I was very, I was very humble actually, and I obviously accepted because it is. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether they deserve it, but uh, that's a different matter, and made more so by the fact that Nottingham, you know, does not have a policy of, uh, of a, giving them to people who are not connected uh, in some way with the university. Uh, I don't have a celebrity policy. Not that I would qualify anyway on, under that, but uh, you know, it, it's not devalued to that extent that it is at, at, at some places. And because of that, you know, I was very happy to accept it. A great, great honour. The amount of fun you have as a student, no matter where you are, really, is is you know, second to none. You won't have that again. You'll never have three years like that again. And in a place like Nottingham, and in a campus like Nottingham as well, people underestimate uh, the... Well, it's a beautiful campus, actually. You'll have 14 bars on it, which can't be bad, really, can it? And, uh, and I, all those memories are unique, and your friends are the ones that will still stay you f with you for life. Mine have, uh, my best friends, even though you don't see them as much as you'd like to because you're in different places. And... I, you know, I would say if you can't enjoy yourself at a university like Nottingham, then you're the problem, really, not not the, not the institution. To be honest, it was a more really uh, my time at Nottingham, the club. I did used to play two games a week actually, and I had to stop doing that because I was playing too much rugby. And funny enough, I used to get injured on the midweek games. I don't know, you know, it's just, just the way it was. But then I used to play in the uh, UAU games and the local cup games, which I really enjoyed. Uh, we got to the final. We lost to Loughborough, actually, but uh, we actually got to the final uh, in, uh, in my last year, which was you know, a tremendous experience. It was the first time that uh, most people, and certainly I, played on Twickenham. And uh, I didn't know that I was going to play so many times on there thereafter. But uh, that, was, that was something that was to come. I didn't even... I didn't know that I would do that, I mean, even when I was at university and I represented England uh, students, it was still some, some way away. You know, wondering, because people give you uh, honours, which it is, it is a great honour, and you sit back and think, you know, why do I do, do I deserve this, why do I deserve it? And I suppose you look back on, on some of the things you've done and you can make a case out for it. Uh, you can make a case out for a lot of other people, and it does give you because of uh, you realise not only that it's it's a number and the caliber of other people that have been awarded similar, uh, you know, honorary uh, doctorates that makes you then reflect yourself against them, which is not unnatural, you know, as to what you might have achieved and what they've achieved. So, so yes, it does, and. Uh, that's what's pretty sad. It's also a process of getting older as well, you know. <laughs> You're more to look back on. Well, I mean, I made it quite plain that I, you know, I wasn't there to say anything to me the way they live their lives, the, you know, their lives, and they made their own decisions. The only thing I, I did say, which was true as far as I'm concerned, is that everything that I've got that's been of lasting value, you know, was achieved, you know, almost in line with how much effort you put in. So I believe there's a, almost a direct correlation between how hard you strive for things and what you actually achieve. Not always, but it, it pretty much so. And, you know, people can take that the way they want to. They live their own lives. If they don't want to, they don't want to. But that's, that's been true as far as I'm concerned. You, you get pretty much what you put in. Well, sport, sport does that at any level, but rugby does it especially so because it's a very interactive game. You know, people are genuinely dependent on each other, both physically sometimes, but certainly for supply of the ball in a way that uh, footballers and, and cricketers not ne aren't necessarily uh, dependent as much on their teammates. And so it, it teaches cooperation, it teaches, well, just the life lessons that everyone has. And, that, and it reinforces them. The higher you go, the, the more severe the tests are of, that sort of, of those sort of values because you're under more pressure. And uh, naturally, when you go through these, it, the lessons become, uh, you know, deeper ingrained, really. Well, you have to have respect because it's a physical game. You know, you lose respect for people and all sorts of brutal things go on. And, um, you know, but it's like this. 
Players don't shout at referees and swear at them and surround them because they can't, because they get hit hard, both on the field, being, being, being started off, so to speak, you know, <coughs> they can get sighted. Everyone takes a dim view. This is the main thing. You mouth at a referee and he marches you 10 yards back or you get simbinned, no one on your side will defend you. Your coach won't. It's not like in football where the manager will say, referee, cut, referee's fault. Too inexperienced at this level. You know, can't handle it. No. You see, he's pointing at his player and saying, you are responsible for that. You know, in the same way that Iron Robin had just gone, he's blamed Howard Webb. He's missed two two-on-ones. No, two, you know, one-on-ones. He's missed two one-on-ones in the World Cup final. And yet, Howard Webb's to blame because he can't put the ball in it twice. So, it's an easy thing. You don't do it every bit because you can't. And you shouldn't be able to do it at football.